Halo Infinite has been delayed, and this is both really good news and really bad news. It's good news because it means the team at 343 gets more time to push out a fully complete product. Halo Infinite will be more in line with what their original vision is. It'll be a more polished product, it'll look better, it'll play better, it'll be better in essentially almost every single aspect. This is really bad news because now, what does the Series X have going for it? Sure, it's a more powerful console, and I'm sure there will be a ton of benefits to picking it up at launch, but without a launch title like Halo Infinite, there's really nothing major coming with this new console release. Especially in terms of the first party side. Sure, you'll have games like Call of Duty or Assassin's Creed, things of that nature, but you don't have any Microsoft owned studios creating something that's launching at the same exact time as the Series X. This kinda lessens the incentive to get a Series X. I myself plan on getting one at launch, but someone else who was going to get one because they want Infinite to play the best it can really doesn't have any incentive to purchase this console anymore. I want to read the full statement from the Halo Twitter account and let you guys hear what they had to say. Today, I want to share an important Halo Infinite development update with the community. We have made the difficult decision to shift our release to 2021 to ensure the team has adequate time to deliver a Halo game experience that meets our vision. The decision to shift the release is the result of multiple factors that have contributed to the development challenges, including the ongoing COVID-related impacts affecting us all this year. I want to acknowledge the hard work from the team at 343 Industries, who have remained committed to making a great game and finding solutions to development challenges. However, it is not sustainable for the well-being of our team and the overall success of this game to ship it this holiday. We know this will be disappointing to many of you, and we all share in that sentiment. The passion and support the community has shown over the years has been incredible and inspiring. We wanted nothing more than to play our game with the community this holiday. This extra time will let us finish the critical work necessary to deliver the most ambitious Halo game ever at the quality we know our fans expect. Thank you for your support and understanding. Chris Lee, Studio Head, Halo Infinite. So, it's of no secret that the current pandemic situation, especially in the US, is hitting people really hard. And, well, with game development being such a hands-on thing, having to work from home makes that pretty difficult. And even if they are back in the office, there's a lot of challenges to face, especially if people get sick and you want to make sure everything's clean, sanitary, there's just a lot of hurdles to jump through just on that aspect of things. And I'm sure the team has definitely seen the reaction to the gameplay that was actually released earlier last month. Halo Infinite is a really ambitious game, and that trailer left kind of a bad taste in people's mouth. The gameplay looked really good, I was impressed by it. On the visual side of things, I was not. So this extra time the developers have is going to let them get a more stable experience and a better looking experience to everybody when Halo Infinite actually releases. Now they've only said that the game will be coming out in 2021, so no definitive date is set in stone yet. So we have even more time to wait until we get yet another release date. We know the Xbox Series X is releasing in November, but we have absolutely no clue besides the year in which Halo Infinite will release. Again, I see this as pretty good news. While I enjoyed the gameplay demo, it definitely didn't look up to standard with what you would expect a next-gen console game to look like. This extra time will enable them to make it even better. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you think this is good news or bad news, or if you're like me, where you see it as both sides. Thank you guys for sticking around, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates!